saying, okay, looking at these dependencies, it looks like the system, because nobody really started, you know, the system's kind of evolved sure. organically over time, but if we look at the dependencies, it looks like there's a layer of stuff here, and, and it talk, sits on top of this layer of stuff, mm -hmm. so where can we draw these layers and cut the lines appropriately, and then how can we make a kind of core version of Windows that is really, let's define what the core of Windows is, that all the other stuff is built on top of. Let's take a, a line and draw it and cut everything. You know, all those dependencies that, that um, make them explicitly cross this line mm -hmm. and not have any cyclic dependencies, Rich talks about. Absolutely. They go from low to high and then come back down. If we can have one-way dependencies across this line, then we've got a core version of Windows. Excellent. And that has a engineering benefits to it. It's not something that you put on the box, right? But sure, but it has engineering. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So if I own a component, right? My team yeah. owns a component in Windows. I am able to express myself in such a way that these are my dependencies, and therefore other systems, other components will go, ah, this guy depends on these things. Therefore, if we do these operations, we have to be careful. We can't like remove this the DLL it's dependent on. We can't change versioning, whatever. Yeah. Whatever the complex, insane, insane engineering that's going on. But my point is, all components in Vista are able to express their dependencies. Their dependencies right. And that well, that because that's huge. That componentization, that dependency stuff, is slightly different than what Rich is doing. Okay. Uh, so the Rich Min and Rich Fletcher and Rich Navs, this uh -huh. Min win thing <laughs> you know, is different than the component model that you're talking about for component-based servicing, which is exactly. Vista, which also does the dependency thing. Mm -hmm. Now he's looking at um, kind of engineering dependencies and trying to cut the line, make a core version of Windows that can evolve or stay stable. Stuff can evolve on top of it mm -hmm. independently of the core. And so that that's an incredible yeah, project. That's a, and, and then the, the whole dependency thing, if you talk about the components mm -hmm. and the, the pieces like DLL, what things DLLs depend on, mm -hmm. down to that finer grain level, mm -hmm. understanding the dependencies means we can recognize when a cycle is about to take place. And cycles are really bad mm -hmm. because for a number of reasons. For, for servicing, it means, like, I want to service this thing, but it has dependency on it, which has dependency on that, which has a dependency back on me, then it's like, all right, we've got to service all these guys to service this. Um, Good point. And and now we can't ship this thing by itself. I mean, it's just the, the cycles are bad, as rich the riches will tell you. Absolutely, the riches. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Well, we want, I want to get all you guys back on uh, like a core arc update because you know, yeah. I think it's important. One of the things that we that, that Channel Nine is is a is a uh, it's a front row seat right in the cockpit. Now, obviously, we're not going to be so far out that we can't talk about things, but it would be nice to know, like, okay, what are the architects thinking, like, if, you know, a year from now? Like, what, you know, when we have something we can talk about publicly, I'd love to be able to meet with you guys again, like, yeah. just have that conversation again. I'm sure, we'd be, we'd love to do it. Cool. Um, so, you know, I've taken up a, a lot of your time. I know you're a busy guy. Um, Thank you. I think sure. we, at least, if nothing else, you know, we've had a nice conversation. We understand security boundaries. We understand that UAC isn't a security boundary. It's more of a gatekeeper, yep. right, that will it's, remove well, it's, the boundary. It, it gets us into standard user world. That's got the, it. The, the goal there. And Vista is, is our most secure operating system to date. Yep. And, I didn't, and I didn't mention all the other things that go into that. Why is it the most secure? We, we, we hit did. on some of them, but we hit on some. there's other things like BitLocker and Windows Defender being in the system. And, Sure. Some other things that. Absolutely, but I, I'm looking for forward to a day when the notion of admin and standard user is just not even in a vocabulary of yeah, the user. Yeah, that'd be nicer.